行行，继续看。<笑>Guys, I want to talk about the Israel and Sheila marriage saga. Like, yes, we are not supposed to get ourselves involved in people's marriages. That's because we don't even know the truth of what really happened, or we are not even in the marriage with them to really know the absolute truth. But yeah, we will be talking. I'm talking about it based on what the both of them came on social media to come and tell us. We don't know whether it's true. We don't know whether it's lie. But anyway, guys, for those of you who do not know who israel is israel is the logistic manager of david the popular uh, music artist in nigeria okay now david hired um israel as his logistic manager israel has been is um, davido's logistic manager for for a long while we don't really know how long why well, until he went viral once like that that he was just referring to davido and prostrating to greet davido lying down on the ground like he can absolutely do anything for davido moga 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 he went viral that period and um that was how israel actually came to limelight <laughs> because israel at this point is even more popular than most nigerian artists you understand if you do not if you know the video very well you should know israel you understand so sometime this year or early this year or late last year i can't really remember when all of a sudden israel came online and said he was getting married rumor has it that they've not dated for long we did not know we were not sure you get but yeah after the marriage broke up they came online that apparently these people did not even date up to six months israel met his wife in one of church um, evangelism something and he wanted to know her he got her no he gave her he gave her her number and according to her from their post she said she gave the number to their uh, evangelism team you get so maybe the follow-up based on the fact that he is a a new convert or he they want to convert Convert him or they want to follow up on him you know how churches do and then when israel according to them israel traveled came back and actually was looking for a way to meet her because he did not get her number that day you understand and then when israel finally got a hold of her number they started talking before you know it the girl told israel that she cannot sleep with him because she's a virgin and she is a christian or whatever and she has vowed to make her husband be the first person to ever sleep with her and of course israel who is also somebody that that's what we assume who is also somebody that maybe he was thrilled by the fact that a girl of this world today is a virgin at her age maybe he was thrilled and then he started doing things for her he bought her an iphone he sent her money he started showering her with gifts before you know it he went to the girl's dad he won the girl's dad's heart telling the dad that he's a born again christian he's not like every other people that the, the man is seeing he's not what you no know, just trying to convince them to maybe accept him as a husband to the daughter that he wants to marry her he's not here to play hanky panky with her yada 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 before you know it in the next two three four months they got married and the marriage was jam-packed with different artists different musicians the same different celebrity because of course israel now hangs out with celebrities and big big names attended the wedding you get and it is not even up to a year they did the wedding everything israel comes online to talk about his wife maybe early when they, they go after they got married and you know it was just it, it, everything what we assumed that everything was going smoothly until everything came on social media a few days back or a few weeks back and it was like the marriage has packed up and we were like wow what happened kilo day gang gang that like how did it get to this point you get and we realized that they started talking israel, israel started saying that they started you know they they, they used their social media platforms to start telling us what happened israel was like loved him because of his money wanted to use him israel told us that he, the girl is not is dressed in any other thing than his money that the girl is advising him to stop doing boy boy for the video and get a business to do and then the girl also took to social media to also tell us how abusive israel has been physically emotionally and all that and well and then yeah she also said that what her offense in the marriage was that she's advising him to stop lying down on the ground worshiping a fellow human being to get a business to do and all that and all that and that's how the marriage 
packed up well that's the only part they have told us apparently after the marriage packed up recently the thing came up again israel went to the mother's shop according to the girl to collect everything that he bought for the mother he started asking for everything he got for the girl and all that and all that see let me just give my two cents in this whole israel and sheila marriage saga yes my sheila is seem, sheila seemed to be a girl that wants the best for her husband feeling like oh stop being a slave to another man and do this and do that try to look for a business to do let us not forget the fact that israel was doing this thing this is what israel does to put food on his table to put food in the family's table this is what israel is known for if there is anything that should have been done i feel like the girl would have discussed this even before getting into the marriage because i know that there is no same girl that will actually marry israel with the way israel has been doing with davido that will be satisfied unless the person genuinely genuinely loves israel for who he is and even if as a woman you want to tell your husband because you want the good of your family you want to tell your husband to stop doing whatever he's doing to his boss his boss you don't give it as a condition you don't give it as a condition that if you stop if you don't stop doing this i'm opting out because you saw it before you entered this did not this did not just start after you got married this is who israel is known for this is how we all know israel and you know israel to be like that you accepted to marry him you didn't have to come and start giving that as a condition for you to stay married to him if that's the reason for your marriage to break up i see it like bullshit you understand i see it like it's it, she never loved him because you cannot be giving him if you truly love him you can't be giving him as a condition you can even walk your way saving money establishing yourself you know collecting money from him establishing yourself collecting money from him saving him subtly advising him subtly following the matter not even up to a year you guys are married and you're already opting out because you gave him an advice to leave his boss or stop being the way he is with his boss how about now i feel like it's just too early for her to take such decision and be like if you don't want to stop leaving your boss you should i'm, I'm leaving this marriage because to be really honest you must genuinely accept that kind of lifestyle for you to even marry him in the first place not saying how he is not talking about it before marriage and then immediately you got married you felt that okay because we are married now i can tell him to stop and if he doesn't stop i'm opting out ah that one is too much i just felt like it's either she actually did not love him truly or israel on the other hand talking about israel i'll be like israel too was thrilled with the fact that she was a virgin and just wanted to test out of it and nobody was actually really ready none of them was actually really ready for the thing called marriage because marriage is not something that you start giving each other conditions i'm feeling hot you start giving each other conditions and trying to want to be like if you don't do this i'm going out if you don't do that i'm going out you get and bringing the, the both of them bringing it to social media is wrong on all grounds so i just feel like the girl would have eh, hey, well some cool school of thoughts be like oh she's such a nice girl a girl that a gen z that wants the best for her husband yeah she wants the best for her husband she wants the best for her family but there's a better way to handle it there's a better way to do it there's a better way to you can and this is something that was said in confidence between she and her husband and is on social media now you get so israel has been like this israel there's nobody i feel like there's nobody that will actually be doing what israel is doing with the video that does not have plan he might have a plan he might not be as foolish as we might be thinking he is you get he might have a plan know when he was going to establish himself because he cannot keep doing what he's doing forever there come a time where he would definitely want to get something better doing or want to do something better for himself but while it lasts he's enjoying it and he's making money off it a lot of us are boy boy in our own in our own way we are all boy boy why is this car so hot and the ac is on you get a lot of us are boy boy in our own way it's just that ours is not on social media our own is not on social media so far as you're working for somebody there are a lot of people that are doing eye service there are a lot of uh, um, a lot of um workers that are just you know very loyal to their boss israel seems to be one of the loyal persons so i so i feel like the whole of this their saga ah the both of them the, the long and short of it is the both of them are not ready for marriage one is either the both of them entered for the wrong reason one israel is accusing the girl of entering the marriage using him to get fame and also establish herself do you get and the, he's not so far from the truth as well as whatever the girl is accusing israel of she is not so far from the truth that's just all i have to say so what are your thoughts about this israel and shayla marriage saga just let me hear you in the comment section these are my two cents and i feel like they should work on themselves more if they are not if they want to give it a try again rather than coming on social media to just be shouting and all that and shayla 
I feel like a lot of things need to be discussed by by couples before even getting married. Not getting married and you start discussing what you should have discussed outside the marriage. Anyway, guys, I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Leave me your thoughts. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll definitely see you all in my next video. Bye.